So in this video, I want to respond or help maybe with a question somebody had in the FreeCAD subreddit. Uh, basically, they were asking how to create an array of ribs, not a rack of ribs, an array of ribs around a sphere. And I thought it was kind of an interesting problem. And I thought it was one that maybe we could solve. I didn't have the answer off the top of my head. I think they almost got to the answer uh, with a couple of little um, tweaks. So let's take a look and see if we can make this work. First thing about FreeCAD, I am on version 0.21.1. I'm looking forward to the changes coming up. I've seen lots of posts about contextual constraints in Sketcher. And I've seen lots of posts about uh, new features that are coming up that will be posted in, in version one. Uh, I'm not going to go to the dev version. I'm on the release version. And that's because I want you guys to be able to use the same version I'm using without any issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this. It's basically a sphere with a bunch of ribs around it uh, that are equispaced. And I'm going to show you how we create that. So let's get going. So here we are in a new file. And we're going to go through this step by step. It shouldn't take us too long to do it. The first thing we are going to do, so we have an unnamed file. We're going to create a part. And we're going to create a body. And then we're going to create a sketch inside that body. And we're going to create it on the XY plane. Now, we are going to create a sphere. I'm in the... Sketcher, so I'm just going to sketch a sphere by creating a revolve. So I'm going to go from the center up to here, come around to here. That's good. And I'm going to take a line like this. Now you can create this um, sphere from a, a primitive if you want to, you, or any other way that you feel comfortable making a sphere. I'm just doing it this way because. I nearly always use part design. And so that is what I want to use here. I just created the radius of that as 20 millimeters. You can use whatever you want to use your size of sphere. I'm going to close that. And I'm just going to create a revolve. And you can see that just makes a sphere. Beautiful. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the draft workbench. And we are going to create um an array on a path so we need to draw that path and then we have to draw what it is we're going to have in that array and we'll go from there and i'm going to turn on that sketch so that i can see it i'm going to turn off that revolution so i can see the edge of our actual uh, sphere and then i'm going to click on this top and i can equally do that by just hitting two that will bring it to this view as well. OK, so the first thing I want to do is to create that path. And that path is going to be offset from here. So I'm going to just do a radius. I'm going to take it from the center point here. I'll come up to here. And I'll just bring that radius around from here. All the way around. And I'm going to do it in line with that one there. So I'm going to just put it to that. And there you have the radius set. And then I'm going to just draw one circle. I'm going to do it on the end of here. And I'm going to make sure it overlaps. And that's all we need to be able to do our path array. I'm going to select the thing we want to put on the array. And then I'm going to press down control, select the path. So I've got them both selected. And then I'm going to go with a path array. And there you see it creates that array of circles. And over here, I have the count of those circles. So I'm going to make that five just because I can. So now you can see I have a path array of five circles. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that path array and I'm going to drop it onto my body up here. And it creates a base feature. Then what I'm going to do is go back to 
my part design. I'm going to select that base feature and I'm going to create a revolve with it. And now you can see I have my revolve. I'll say OK. And of course, if I want to change anything, I can go into my um, path array. Let's say let's make it six, going to make it six circles in our array. And we can equally say we want our circle to be smaller or larger from here. So I can, so I can make that a 2.5 diameter. And you can see that the circle is smaller. And of course, I could change the arc as well if I wanted to. Um, I can I can make my radius smaller. So I can make that 21, say. And there you can see it's all modifiers. It's all parametric still. We can modify it and we can do whatever we like with this, uh, this shape. So hopefully that helps you to see how to use a path array to create a model in part design uh, with these ribs around it. By using the tools that we have in FreeCAD, we can align things and use them in the draft workbench and then come back into part design and create it. Now remember, of course, in part design, you have to have a, a solid model. So this is one model. Um, and if you're doing this, make sure that you're going to have some intersection there so that you are going to create a model, uh, a solid model. If these guys were further out, they just wouldn't create ribs. You, if you, as long as you had some of them connecting, it would create the ribs. But if these ones, say, in the middle were further out, they wouldn't create those ribs. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope this helps. I hope it helps to see that you can use draft workbench to create stuff, um, arrays of things that you can use in part design, or you can use them in part as well. So uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. Uh, there's no commitment. It's just a matter of um, subscribing, and that will give you then uh, early warning if I put out a new video. Uh, if you want to contribute, you can join, uh, become a member of the channel, or you can join my Patreon. I'll put those links up for you. Or if you just want to give me a one-time thank you for doing something, if something helped you particularly, you can just buy me a coffee on coffee.com. So uh, that's all i got for you on this one, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks. Take care.